Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Power of Us. This is Abel. And this is his lovely wife, Rosie. She is very lovely. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't have anything else. I just, yeah, I'm his wife. That's who I am. And uh, welcome back to another episode. Like I said, today we are a team. Right, babe? Just today because we're in front of a camera or mm-hmm. are we always a team? Well, we're always a team, except mm-hmm. sometimes we have those Brady Belichick moments where we're fighting internally. Who am I? You? You're going to make me Belichick. I know yeah, you Brady. do. Yeah, Brady the go. grouch, whatever. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Belichick. Belichick ain't going to lose his job. No he time soon. He ain't losing soon. his job. He, if anything, he's coming to the Chargers, and then we're going to become Chargers fans. Anyways, me and Rosie have gone through ups and downs of working together, and we've done a lot of stuff together. We've done almost everything together. Right? Yeah. Is there anything that we haven't done together? I had the babies by myself. You had the babies by yourself. I, I, I am the <laughs> yeah. doctor on that birth certificate, so I beg to differ. Sammy really believes you're a doctor, dude. You got to tell her one uh, day that that's not true. But I am the doctor for Sammy. I don't think there's a doctor. Oh, fine. Can I be the midwife then? Cause you're my doula. Yeah, I'm your doula. Fine. Yes. Sure. Yes, we, we do life together. We are partners. We're co-parents. Mm-hmm. Um, we sometimes have sex together. Sometimes. (laughs) Sometimes. Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Sometimes. Uh, (laughs) sometimes I'm not really there. Wow. (laughs) Just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. It's a joke. It's a bad, bad, poor taste joke. All right. Fine. You called me Bella. You're going to learn tonight. (laughs) Shut up. (laughs) We, I, I wish we were teammates. It would, it is my... One of my goals to be able to be a teammate with you. Yeah. So the thing is that we've done so many things together, babe, but there's been so many times where it starts off either rough or it really gets bad in the middle and then it just kind of just goes to hell. Well, there's a difference between doing things together and being teammates. Mm. I think we do a lot of things together. Right. I like, agree. Yeah, we're driving together. We're on our way to church together. We're raising these kids together. But sometimes it doesn't feel like like we're teammates. Right. Why do you think or, or what makes you feel? What is it that has happened that makes you feel that way? <laughs> Why do you smile? Why are you already smiling? I know. Why smiling. are you asking? Do you really want an answer to this question? Yes, I want the answer to this question. All right. Let me pull oh, up my geez. sleeves. Okay. Welcome to the longest episode of The Power of Us, guys. <laughs> because you have a... We haven't had great teamwork because i believe you have a single man's mentality you uh-huh. feel that you're single sometimes and not he's not a cheater he's never nothing like that single by single mean is that you think a lot of me mm-hmm. instead of us yeah like even if it's doing something i have to clean the house i have to go to work i have and and I believe that when you become a couple, it's more like us. What are we doing today? You know what? How are we going to pay these bills? How how are we going to raise these kids? It's not like yeah. you tell them what to do and I'm just like showering them. It's it's us together. It's like help me help help me teach Eli to sleep by himself. Right. It's a team effort. That means we plan out. That means we agree on something. We stick to it. There's accountability and and in f- especially in front of the kids especially yeah. in front of the kids it's not like oh i'm gonna make up my own rule right now so it's tough it's tough because maybe we forget mm-hmm. or we don't agree 100 percent. you, to you the brought plan. up something maybe about a month or two ago we were like we don't do anything together i grew up and we did everything together and we went here together and we did that together and we were always together and it was always us and this and that and you know what? I thought about it, and I'm like, you know what? I didn't grow up like that. I was the eldest uh, for 10 years. I was by myself, and I was literally a latchkey kid, so I was literally by myself in the house. And yeah. then as the kids grew up, I just kind of became like a father figure rather than a brother. Yeah. And so even then, I was still kind of doing stuff for myself, and I couldn't really rely on them. So I didn't really have anybody to really do that with, you know? My mom was yeah. always working. Um, but that kind of opened my eyes not to give myself pity or to give myself an excuse, but to kind of like, oh, crap. Well, I understand why Rosie's saying all this. She's not crazy. She's not over-exaggerating. She's not like uh, just being extra, you know, or, or just wanting too much. She genuinely had a life where they did things together. And, and now she doesn't because I have that single mentality of like, oh, I'm by myself. I'm just going to do it or, or, or I'm going to go and have a, a Popeye's chicken sandwich by myself and uh so rude 
So rude. And so, I mean, that led to, that, did we ever talk about that? No, we have not. Those okay. were the bad weeks yes, when we were, were off the weeks. air. So I went, so everybody's raving about this Popeye's chicken sandwich. This is like sometime in late November. Early oh, they December. know. They remember. Uh huh. So they, everybody's raving about these sandwiches and now oh, they went out and missed the first round or whatnot. And then, and then the second round comes around and there's still lines and I'm like, okay, what the heck? So you didn't miss out. You chose. I didn't care. I didn't realize I was like, whatever about it. But you chose by yourself that we weren't going to wait in the line. Yes. I okay. Did. Okay. Even then you chose by yourself that you weren't going to wait in the line. Right. Right. Yes. That's why we don't go to Disneyland a lot because you hate we don't lines. Go to, we hate Disneyland. We don't hate it. Oh, come on, baby. You tell me you want to go see Mickey Mouse. I want Eli, yes. Yeah, we're going to go when he remembers, it. when he can remember. <laughs> like, there's no point in taking him Spending if he can't remember. Spending money on a kid if he can't yeah. remember. His <laughs> spirit will remember. <laughs> but, um, no, you decided before even talking to me. Yes. That, and then we talked about it. We had this whole big conversation with his family on November 13th. It was your birthday. We had, like, a 40-minute discussion about the sandwich, yes. yes? Yes. And I heard Abel tell his friend, Luigi, you told Luigi... I'm going to try it. So I assumed, dumb me, that you meant me too, that we were going to try this sandwich. Yes, yes which, which that's my intention because, see, I brought three chicken sandwiches home with me, but you wanted to go experience this chicken sandwich and you wanted to do the whole thing and partake in the whole standing in the <laughs> short line, which is the only reason why I got off my car because of the short line. Don't lie. Don't yes. lie. You searched for this sandwich for two days. It wasn't like you passed by an empty Popeye's. You this had it time, in yes. your mind to go and have Popeye's chicken yes. without your I, wife. No, I didn't have it in my mind to go have it with my, my wife. is just super busy. Right. All right. That's why you can call and be like, hey, babe, this time, when this <laughs> week. unas tres horas para ir a comer pollo, hija. Es el sandwich. El spicy. And... <clears throat> So we do this or whatnot, and, and and I understood. I understood. That's where this came out from, and that's where you mentioned how you guys did everything together. And I understood. And I'm like, yeah, that is a kind of a jerk thing to do. And then you brought up, you made me feel like an idiot because you're like, and who eats alone? I'm like, I eat alone all the time, bro. <laughs> like, so apparently I'm a weirdo because I yeah, eat by I myself. You're not a weirdo, <laughs> but, but babe, you did have a reason to eat alone. You're not that same guy anymore. Uh -huh. Okay, you're not that locked up latchkey kid. You're right. a grown man with a five people family. Yes. Not including your suegra and the tia that live here. Okay. So you you do have someone you can eat with. You yes. could have at least taken Eli. Eli, yeah, I could have. Eli would have enjoyed it. Yeah. Yes, he would have. So anyway. But then Eli would have gotten in trouble too. <laughs> It's not his fault. Okay. <laughs> he would have probably called me, wish mom, yeah. wish mom, wish mom. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it's just experiences. I want to experience things together more than results, more than how good the sandwich was, more than it's just really um, one. I would like to know that you thought of me. But two, I really want to know that you want to do things with me. It yeah. made me feel rejected, um, which I don't want to not do things with you. You get me? But just sometimes as men, we make the mistake of, of seeing little things as just little things when we don't know what they are to the other person. When girls get excited by us sharing our feelings or emotions about anything, you know, when we just think of it as whatever, you know? So I yeah. made that mistake and, and, and I accepted it and I saw it. And it's not about a freaking chicken sandwich. And so I did at the moment think like, oh my God, she's over exaggerating again and this and that. But it's like, no, she, what she wants to do is have a relationship, have intimacy, be feel like we're a team, you know, and, and feel like we're doing stuff together. Please, why are, you, why are your eyes getting all squinty? <laughs> together ship? Yes. Everything uh, ship. Everything, you want I an everything want ship. everything ship. So, uh, but I learned, I learned about that and, and we got so to So we're it. taking this relationship to the next level? We're we've taken it to the next level, yes. So we're, we're going to be in the restroom when the other person is urinating or defecating yes no way dude yeah. never that's that's, that's way over thing everything that's, ship. that's, that's the whole thing no man. that's crazy like no. farts in bed no and then, and then no. you lift up the cover and no. you go like <laughs> <laughs> nope we are not there are certain things that you and i will never do together very i don't well. want to know your insights very well very well but okay so we're, we're starting a new year 
Uh, we've we've just been slowly changing and evolving, in that we've had a lot of a lot of things that we do together, that end up going really bad because we don't know how to work together. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of, I'm gonna help you with your New Year's resolution. What's that? This is the shake that you said. This is the coffee and vomit. This is just coffee. Coffee and baby vomit. Okay. <laughs> All two right. at least two swigs. Okay. This will help him get into keto. This is not good. <laughs> this is not good, babe. I didn't say it was good. It's just not bad. But this will help him get into keto and it has electrolytes. It is so weird, man. It's, it it's is, coffee and water, dude. It's not it's not coffee though. It feels like coffee okay, and but a bunch you, of olive but oil. But did you poop better? I don't know. I'll see now. Okay. Well, yes. Anyway, he's going to have more energy and we'll have a better stool okay. and you'll feel better and you'll get into keto and you'll okay. lose weight. And then when you're at 215, I want to hear the I'll speech. I'll thank you. I'll thank, thank you for the you, coffee wife. and the vomit. Thank, thank you, wife. Thank you. But this is us working together. Yes. I think of you. I don't drink crap by myself. <laughs> I share it with you. All right. So, um... What are we doing this year, wife? What is it that's going to be changing in our life that, wow, she just drank the entire thing in one chug? Okay. Oh, you didn't want any? No. You no, didn't want no, any? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. So the things that we're going to be changing about our relationship is that we're going to be changing our approach. We're going to be doing things differently. We're going to be loving each other through working together, if that makes sense. So there's things that 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 are head by Rose that are led by Rosie in a sense, like, mm -hmm. you know, like when she wants to, let's say, I think you want us to probably eventually start mentoring, mentoring a small group again and stuff yes. like that. So if I can help out in any way, whether well, it's printing out paper, uh, leading worship in it, or just helping you with an illustration or something like that, I can be there to work with you and uh, work through that, you know? Well, or, or even sometimes I love it uh, because a lot of people don't realize how much teamwork goes into a ministry. So um, we really, I love about us because it's not all bad. I think we do a lot of things well, um, whether it's hitting the gym or, or stuff that I have to do where I, 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 I can't have the kids with me. Yeah. Get me? You'll really help me with the kids. You'll take them to the park. You'll, they'll be outside of my way. Um, and that's really, really helping me in my ministry so that I could really just focus on mm -hmm. the women in front of me and you handle the kids and then vice versa. When you have your worship meetings or you are songwriting, I'm, I try and be like, or I plan on being more like, all right, let me get the kids out of the way or, you know, um, yeah, that's huge. And I, and you have to realize that, that when you're, when you're meeting your goals, when you're doing something, maybe your partner's not right there with you because I think that's been an issue yeah. with you and I, how can I help you with music? I don't know about, um, keys, whatever scales, none of that. Yeah. I, I'm not musically taught. I just know what I like and what I don't. I have a producer mentality, but I don't know the details. So I can help in the aftermath of like, Ooh, cambia esto, agrega esto. But I wanted to be there throughout the whole process. I just didn't know how. So I had to find other ways of, of helping you um, and still consider it teamwork. And yeah. I think maybe a lot of couples go through that of like, pues you don't, no te ayudo. And, and sometimes you can. There's different ways of helping your partner um, achieve his goals. I definitely agree. Uh, one of the things that we did was that we began to work together in that I invited Rosie into the studio with me. We were having this discussion where she's like, Oh, I'm not, I don't feel involved. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do. Well, I'm like, okay, well then I need you. Uh, I need somebody for this song. I want you to be a part of it. And so we did it and we recorded a song together. This is, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a song. And, uh, this is what we did together. Um, let me shoot. Let me start turning this on. And we wrote this. Well, we didn't write the song. But we covered the song together, and I needed somebody to do the backing track. We will be writing songs together. Yes, we, ha we have. Because we, we have. already have one. We already have one, and that one's going to be releasing real soon. Let me see if it's connected. We should be good. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. You guys can actually find it now. It's on. It's not on YouTube yet, but it is on Spotify. It is on iTunes Music and Are we going to do the music video for whatever. this one? I don't know, because this is a cover, and I think I just, I'd want to just start moving um. forward and just start doing our own original stuff. Okay. That girl can sing. Girl I don't know who sing. she is. Let's 
is through. She sounds That's beautiful. just a little teaser. Yes, she she's very hot too. Yeah, I like she her. sounds like it. Yes, you should have seen the stuff that happened in the studio that day. <laughs> You're dumb. It was like fireworks. Yeah, right in front of the engineer, I'm <laughs> sure, in the church. Yeah. Este, so yeah, it was great. Um, I had I a good time with you. I loved doing that with you. And you. I loved I, being a part of it. You did very, very well. And and you really... Well, you, you look pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yes. My issue with you wasn't that I thought you couldn't sing. My issue with you was that you don't know how to do it. You got me? Like, you don't know how to use your tool. It's like, you got it. You just don't know no, how, to, right. how to drive yet, you know? Yeah. And you did a very good job of listening. You were rather patient. You were, you were more patient than I thought. You didn't get frustrated. No, I think like that. I thought you would get impatient. You thought so? Yeah. No, I, was, so I, I wanted to finish quickly. I wanted to do as least do it as quickly as possible so that you wouldn't get impatient with me. But if you would have had me do it like forever and ever and ever, I grew up in a studio, literally, like my dad would take us. So one song back then, se hacía con, with the actual... Yeah, because it was just tape. You right? Mess it was up. Actual, you mess up, you mess up. But that's why he would do it all day. Dad's a perfectionist. So he, one song would be doing the tape over and over and literally. And now it's different. You have iTunes and you crop and stuff and you can just focus on the little one segment, little part. Yeah. Um, but so I grew up with that mentality, but it was just great to be able to work with you and, and hear it now. And, and literally like my voice is like a second of, of your song, but it feels great to be like, Hey, I'm there with him. Um, I think as women, we want that teammate companion, excuse me, companion partnership in our life. Like we didn't marry just for sex or, just for financial help and mm -hmm. security there it's it's so many things but for me and for a lot, a lot of our followers i think it's about really 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 working together um so what like when we do songs like this you lead all the music stuff and and i think that's what marriage is is you know we've read the bible verse you know where the woman submits to the man ephesians right. 5 i believe and the and the man loves loves the woman like the ch like Christ loved the church but there are there's a bible verse where it says the where the 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 true meaning of it is submitting to each other wow so good. i'm not less than you and right. you're not above me and i'm not smarter than you or vice versa it's it's finding each other's strength and saying where you're strong yeah. you lead where you've been before where you know you That's good. you know where you've um, experienced where you've grown, lead me there and I'll follow and vice versa in other ways, um, that I, that I've been here before, you know, I can, I can kind of lead it, but even in leading it, it's not like you don't have an opinion or you don't have a say, or we can't change things. It's not like it shouldn't be Rosie's way just because I've been here before. It could be like, well, this is how it went this time with Casey. How do we change it with Sammy and Eli? Right. Um, <clears throat> so I'm really, really glad that we're doing music together. Um, we're going to be writing songs together, which really excites me. I'm, I'm a poet at heart or in my mind, but I don't know anything about music. Mm. So even then it's like, okay, how do I change this verse into a song? You know, where does the repetition come in? Where does the melody come in? Right. Well, I mean, you have a great ear for what a good song can really contain yes and uh i think together we can do great things just in general this isn't necessarily i mean this is a good plug to to let you guys know about what's going to happen in the future with us but this isn't about that this is about how how we we've we've had a hard relate we've had a hard time working together in the past but we're giving it another try again because we've seen the errors because i don't want to continue living like that you know so the question is is that how is it that one can work together after having a bad working Experience. together relationship or experiences redo. yeah hmm. so we're going to talk about that after the break and um, just start thinking about have you worked with your spouse in something has it not gone well have you guys stopped working mm. together and not even talked about it or gotten through with it and no longer give each other opportunities so right now after the break all right guys welcome back from the break we are talking about working together which is something that we're going to be doing a lot more this year in, in a healthier in a better way with a different heart with a new mercy and just loving each other while working together not it being like this like disgruntled like oh i have to help my wife type of a thing you know mm, or i have yeah. to help my husband because that's what we got to do but just right. really really working together and appreciating each other so there, there's a bunch of different ways of working together that you were talking about one of those is the most despised the most 
um, degraded one, the most one that, that leads to resentment, which is the you're helping them by taking care of the kids. Do you get me? There's so many people, there's so many relationships that don't see that as working together. It's like you're out there doing your own thing and you're not a part of this. You get mm -hmm. me? Like the person that's taking care of the I kids feels like, go ahead. I, I, I haven't experienced that because I admire that, but I could see where other men or women feel like there's no value in it. Mm -hmm. um, but <clears throat> I mean, we've had friends that, I mean, I've gone through it and I've made the mistake of feeling like that because I wasn't doing anything for myself. Like you would go out and you'd be doing something and I'd watch the kids. And then when you'd come home and, and when you had an opportunity to watch the kids, I still wasn't doing anything for myself. Mm. And that was the issue, you know, which uh, and then we've we've known a couple of people close to us as well, where the, another male did, felt that way. And then another female felt that way. And they just want to do something for themselves. But the thing is, is that they didn't feel like they, they didn't feel like they were a team. Either because maybe one person wasn't acknowledging that what they were doing, like maybe they thought what they were doing is what they were supposed to do. And that's like the basics. Yeah. That's what I was going to tell you. You know, I, I think people battle with becoming teammates because it doesn't look like their parents. It doesn't look like their mm. what society thought was. I mean, in this generation, it's different. A guy can stay home. Yeah. I, I have a friend who literally will say my boyfriend is a stay at home dad with, and I'm like tight. Like, you know, and it's amazing. He does an amazing job with their yeah. son. And he's the one that told her, go for your career. Yeah. And <clears throat> so he's a full-time stay-at-home dad. And and our, our people, my mom would think like, oh, my God, que es eso? Es un mantenido. Yeah. And, and, and a lot of people didn't understand it. I love when we started becoming teammates was when we realized, like, we're going to – sorry. You just told me not to do that. <laughs> so good. sorry. You told me – um. We said to each other, you don't have to be like my mom. Mm. I remember because I was like, no, 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 no. But moms, even if I work and I get home at six, I have to have dinner ready by seven. Like, that's how it has to be because I was looking at my parents' marriage. Mm. And thank God you're like, no, we don't have to do it like that. <clears throat> so I think your teamwork can look and maybe should look different than your mom or your suegra. I agree. So... The, the whole, I mean, staying home with the kids, I didn't, I didn't want you to feel like that. I didn't see it as a bad thing. I always saw it like, oh, my God, thank God for my husband. Yeah. He's way better than I ever thought he'd be. Right. I think that, I think that when that happens, it just takes a lot of <coughs> communication and a lot of appreciation on both sides. On both sides, uh, the, from the person that has to stay home and take care of the kids and to appreciate them for what they're going to go do out there or, or all the work or all the extra stuff that they're doing, whether if it's successful already or not, you know, because we've yeah. literally seen there's people right around the corner that we're like, we've seen them go from nothing to this amazing company, you know, yeah. and they never knew that, you know, Yeah. but but at the same time, it also takes work from the person that's out there doing it to come back home and be like, I couldn't do this without you, you for know, sure. give that affirmation, give that like, thank you so much for what you're doing and in private, like in private and in public. Yeah. I love I how Tom Hanks just received like a golden globe and he like almost teared up just thanking his family Wow. in general. That means like his wife and his kids and we don't, I mean, the, the wife is an actress, but, um, or an actor we say now, but it's just thinking like he even thanked his kids Yeah. and, and it takes a family teamwork. Yeah. Our kids have to, put up a lot with mom's not home or mom has to cook dinner earlier because she's going to, you know, mentor someone else. Yeah. It, our, our kids are our teammates also. They're not just people that we boss around. That's good. We make them feel like shareholders is, is you know, like this is yours too. Right. Like, Cause we're doing it for them. Yeah. We're doing it for, to give them the best life that they can have. It's honestly, a lot of the stuff that we do is, so we can leave for our kids like we I like me personally, I want more property so that we can leave one to every one of the kids. Yeah. Not that I need more property, you know. Yeah. Um, we want more businesses so that we can have stuff to leave for each one of the kids to give them the best future that they could have. Right. You know, but uh, and then and then so it's great once the person gives appreciation to everybody. But then again, when the person comes home like and, and they're there, it's like that person 
that was taking care of the kids should also have dreams and aspirations. I think they can make it happen as well. But you think it just, again, this world has made us to believe that only one person can do it at a time. Only one person is able to do it, which is understandable because there are seasons when some person is working more than the other person would, but there's no reason as to why you can't do both. Right. You know, why mm -hmm. there can't be a support system for both. Why, why you not being able to do things is, is, is not possible. And you know what? Might be that for a while, for maybe the first two years as you're both living your dreams, you guys might have a babysitter and maybe one of the profits that's going into that thing that one of you guys is working for is going all towards just babysitting or something like that. But mm. it's worth it. Yeah. If you guys are both living your dream, you know, right. granted, you still have your time with the kids. I'm talking about babysitter like from nine to five, which is normal. Like everybody should have. Uh, and then that's another topic. If you don't trust yourself with with your kids, with other people or something like that. So yeah. we'll talk about that eventually. But what I'm saying is that uh, sacrifice is is good, but you guys can make it happen. One of the coolest things that you ever told me was that if I have 24 hours in a day and I got to do all this, I'm somehow going to make it happen. And I'm like well, why can't I? And then, yeah. and then, and then I just started making it happen. We started doing it together and yeah, we have a babysitter now and yeah, we pay an extra amount rather than saving that money. But you know what? It took some time. Yeah. But eventually we're at the point now where it's like, oh, okay, we're both having enough now to pay our babysitter because we're able to now each make an, an income from what we love to do and now even more. So it just, it takes some, it takes a lot of teamwork yeah. And a lot of understanding that for a while, you know, <coughs> things are going to be the way they're going to be so that we can both reach our dreams. Well, right now that you're talking about, you know, profits and where you invest your money, whether it's in the actual product or in a babysitter, when you're working together, you need the same goal mm -hmm. and the same vision. And I think for you and I, a lot of the time we weren't good teammates because our vision was different. Yeah. Our goal was different. We either didn't talk about it or we talked about it once and then we kind of forgot and I'm worried about mine and you're worried about his, yours and we're together in that, yeah, I support you. Yeah, I want you to grow grow on YouTube and get, get you know, make concerts, and, but, but I'm writing my book. So right. I'm going to start writing my book and you do your song and I'll pray for you. Yeah. And, and prayer is amazing and powerful, obviously, but... It's, it's like, well, what can I do? I'm going to put my book aside for a little bit so that every Tuesday we can write a song or I can push you to write a song or um, I'm going to take the kids out every Thursday so that you can just sit and write and have the house quiet. But what I'm trying to tell you is, is I think we became stronger when our goals became the same. Yeah. Like we want to. We want able to have more concerts this year. How do we make it happen? What do we have to do as a family That's good, so yeah. that Abel can have more concerts this year? Not, not only invitations to other churches, but no, we want to set up our own concert. Yeah. We, we don't feel like we, we can really produce the, the worship that we want, the praise that we want, the, the event that we want at, at another. Th so we're going to get a venue this year. And we started to use the word we, and we started to think, and we started to use our connections together. So, Essential for teamwork is losing your singleness mentality and having the same visions and goals and then coming back to them. That's good. And be like, are we still there or did we change it? Right. You know, oh, no, you know what? We are only going to have two concerts this year. OK, cool. We thought six. Now it's two. Great. Um, but it, you have to really, really um, come together in what the goal is, because if the goal is money, then mm. you might not be satisfied in the end or you might be there's, really there's never enough money yeah because the more money you get the more expenses come or you might be that's what i was going to tell you you might be super frustrated together or separate where one person's like great you know we got a hundred bucks yay and the other person's like i just wasted my life and and then you don't understand what why are you unhappy i'm happy yeah um so you really set the same exact goals because i think sometimes when when romanticism is gone when um mundane comes in when life struggles come in sometimes the same vision can really hold us together of like but we're on the same goal it we're not where we want to be yeah. but just the fact that i'm on this journey with you yeah. really fulfills me one day when you receive the grammy and you thank me <sighs> um i'm i'm gonna think and i hope we can remember like man 
we were there when there were no views. We were there right, when we wrote yeah. the first song. We were there when we had to save up money for that first song and that first video. And now we're here together yeah. as as we get to share this beautiful art with the world. Um, <laughs> um, Alexa burped. So yeah, it's, I don't know. And, and I think working together really means having the same vision together. Definitely. So vision is the most important thing. And that, that's the thing that we started. We kept mixing up or not getting clear and not speaking about. I think your vision and my vision were just separate visions. And I want to really join them because we would go out and we'd minister, but it would still not feel, you would not feel mm -hmm. that we were doing it together or that we had the same vision. And it just took a lot of talking and it took a couple of times of just having you understand that things are different now. Um, well, yeah, because we used to minister together since we got married, right. whether it was like a couple's class in our house mm -hmm. around the same worship team at church or ministering outside. But one of us was always super frustrated. We Me. never felt like we were on the same page. So we just stopped. Like we, I, we just literally said, we're going to stop. We're not, we're not enjoying this. It's not okay. I don't even like this anymore. Um, and my heart really, really broke because that's, that's my life. I love yeah. going out there and ministering and we're going to do it again. But before we could have started again, we had to do like an investigation of what went wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, why, why did, why were we frustrated? Who was frustrated for what reasons? Was it us or was it the environment we were in or was it both? So now that we're going to start up again, we know what not to do. We right. know what we want together yeah. and we know what the other person needs, um, you know, and, and probably we need more teammates. Yeah. Get me it. I think one of the reasons we were frustrated was because it was just you and me. Yeah. So the workload was heavy yeah. and, and you did a lot of the heavy, like literally lifting. And I felt like I was doing a lot of the mental spiritual. Mm -hmm. So we were both exhausted and we said, well, you know what? We need more teammates. Yeah. You know, and, and, and we're going to do that. So, and I mean, you are absolutely right. I mean, it, 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 that's, that's, that stress of having to do five jobs. And cause I mean, what, what Rosie, what you guys see that Rosie does as far as like her videos and stuff like that, that takes a whole, whole production, you know, it takes from scouting and videos and music, I'm sorry, Location, yeah, and locations dress and, code. and the dress, you know, and it was just me and her and, yeah. and it because started getting honestly, hard. I'm I know how to get the word across. I know how to speak. I know, thank God, he gives me revelation or I'll read the word and I'm studying. I'm thinking all month, like, okay, what are we going to talk about? What are we going to... And that's all I, I know how to do. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, I don't know how to put it up on YouTube. I, I don't know how to record. Mm -hmm. So it was all up to you. And mm -hmm. it was just so heavy and it frustrated him. And then who do you see? Well, you see Rosie. So all the... It looks like all the credit goes to me. We don't even credit you as like a photographer or video videographer. Yeah. But more than that, it was like, I need help was yeah. what you were screaming without screaming it. Um, just like I'm just exhausted. And yeah. so we just got a team. And 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 then that made you feel as if I wasn't there or as if I didn't want to do it or I didn't want you to do it or I didn't want. I didn't care about what you're doing, but that wasn't it, you know. Yeah. And, and sometimes you just got to really look at things and be like we can't do this just completely by ourselves. And either we have to get friends that can really believe in us and help us yep. for free for a bit, or maybe we'll, again, we lose a little bit of the profit, which is what we're doing now, but we're yeah. living much, much more of a lighter load where we have a good team that really helps us produce these videos for Rosie helps. Um, we have a, we have a producer now. I'm not over here trying to break my head, trying to do everything myself. I go to two producers now and we work with them and, and, and that's where I record a the majority of my stuff and things like that. And, and it's just, it's, it's, it's much better and it's much lighter, which gives us more time for each other. Yeah. See the goal isn't, Oh, we, we need to make money with these. Would it be great? Sure. Of course, you know, Lord provide, um, in any way. I don't, I don't have like, I, I, I dream of like profiting off of YouTube, but it hasn't happened yet to be honest. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I'm still going to do what God called me to do. And no, I don't think it's wrong for um, there to be profit or to m support my family with my God giving talent. Like that's what we all do. Um, so, but I'm enjoying it more. 
you know, yeah. I can hang out with my husband more. I can, w instead of talking about like all the bad stuff that went wrong with the video and who uploaded it and why is it wrong and all these things or the lighting and we're just annoyed with each other. It's like, hey, what did you think of the word? No, it was good. And it's, you know, it, the conversation is much better and more than financial. At least now we have peace and joy yeah. while we're doing our purpose. So good. Yeah, so that's us in a nutshell of working together. The question is now, what is it that you guys can do to really start over? We had to really forgive each other and kind of move forward. Um, and like, honestly, babe, I, I regret a lot of stuff, especially the beginning. I regret the beginning of our ministry. I regret the way that I acted, the way that I thought of it, where I just thought like, oh, I'm just Rosie Rivera's husband. And they, you know, and I regret a lot of that because I was a lot, that was very immature of not being able to take a hold of myself. You know, not being able to just embrace what God has given us at that moment. And that was wrong of me. That was wrong of me. Um, I don't know. To, I would just be 100% honest with you. I don't know if I would have been able to see that until I, I was able to do something for myself or, yeah. or just do something myself, you know, or for me to focus on doing something. For, you know, I'm not trying to yeah. be like big headed or anything like that, but but I see it and I'm like, oh, what a jerk. Like, you didn't have to do it that way. And I see, and you've mentioned it, and you're like, oh, man, you, you kind of, like, tainted a little bit or ruined those things where I'm like, where I was enjoying it. Deep down inside, I look back now, and I could see you frustrated on the inside where I thought we were enjoying it, you know? That, that yeah. I know you've said that, but I regret, and I wish I could go back and do it differently. I wish I was more mature about it or just embraced it or even used it for my benefit and that somehow I was going to change something. Well, mm. it's new year, new mercy. Yeah. Like Pastor Christina Lowe said, it's new year, new mercy, and we just start over. And it seems really easy, and with the help of God, it can be. Yeah. You can really flip on a switch and say, start over. Yeah. Like, that's it, you know? And, and we start over, and, you know, we're going to meet with our manager this Thursday, and hopefully we start over, and that's it. And I and I know. And, and we've had the conversation. We're having this conversation now, and you know, we've had it several times because I really had to believe that you wanted to do this. I didn't want yeah. to go out there again without truly believing like, okay, it's going to be good this time. I was, I, I remember even telling you like, I'll just do it alone. You don't yeah. need to travel with me. I'll have Mary go with me. I'll have an assistant go with me. I'll go by myself, but I'm going to do what I have to do. If you don't want to be a part of it. Okay. Just, you know, pray for me. Yeah. Um, but I'm really glad because one of my dreams is to do it with you, you know. So let's let's try again, and we'll, I'm sure we'll still learn. I'm sure we'll, there'll still be stumblings. I'm still I'm sure there there might be bad days yeah. on the road. Um, but we're together, and when you're strong, I'll be. I mean, when I'm weak, you'll be strong, and vice versa. And that's why I really love that verse that we chose for today. It's in Ecclesiastics four um four nine through twelve i'll, I'll um, read some parts of it two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor mm. if either of them falls down one can help the other up also if two lie down together they will keep warm because how can one keep warm alone though one may be overpowered Two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. So I love that word. Um, obviously, two are better than one. And and I, you know, the good labor has a good return for their labor. Is that like, because it's evenly distributed. Yeah. So I really want to be able to distribute labor with you. I have, I have to admit that I always feel guilty. Mm. I feel guilty if I sleep in. I can't even enjoy it. And uh, because I don't know what that's like. I didn't see that in my home growing up. Yeah. And you're awesome at that. You're all like, babe, just sleep. I'll take the kids or I I'll handle it today. And um, I, I just want to let go of that guilt and just enjoy that. I have a husband that's like, dude, sleep. Um, you'll, you'll do it tomorrow. Um, so really learn um, to our followers, really learn how to distribute labor that's how you have a better return. It's not necessarily like, oh, the profit went up. It's that you're working smarter right? That's rather good. than harder. And then um, obviously when he falls down, pick him up. That doesn't make him weaker than you. That makes him human. You know, he, he's really not Superman. Superman doesn't exist. We have a supernatural God 
with us as humans. So help your husband, whether it's prayer or advice or a hug. Mm -hmm. If the man wants to express his fears or pain to you, receive it. And, wow. and don't demean him and don't make him feel less or joke about it. Really, really receive it. And then um, obviously defending themselves. I love that. I love that we can defend each other. And then the last part, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Well, who's the third strand? You know, the Holy Spirit. Yeah. yeah. So two doesn't break easily. I mean, two is strong, but three does not break quickly. So the more you have God in your life, the easier it'll be to work together. Um, that doesn't say perfect. I never said perfection yeah. or awesome or it'll just be easier because you get the, well, part of the workload is also gone. Yeah. You know, let the Holy Spirit come in wherever I fell as a wife. He'll, he'll help me. He'll guide me on how to be a better helper. Yeah. So this year is not a year where you're going to draw closer to God. Don't think of it like that. This is a year where you stay connected to God. Mm. And, and that's something that they're really, uh, just expressing at Oasis, uh, at our church, Oasis LA. And I, I love that because it's like we have God in our life, but it's like about staying connected with him because so many times we lose focus of God. We disconnect and we focus and we connect to ourselves. We connect to our jobs. We connect yeah. to everything that else that's going on around us. But this is really a year of not drawing closer to God, but just staying connected to him. But like really staying connected, not just on Sundays, but really staying connected. Uh, again, if you guys have the time, no, no, make time. Yeah. Make time to read your Bible. Make time to just uh, just really focus on God and staying connected to him. If you don't if you have a tough time reading your Bible, I suggest reading New Living Translation. That's really helped me a lot. It's very more it's much more simplified. It's it's still not like the message. If you've ever read the message, the message is very like Mm, biblical Story -like? but yeah but it's not like it's like you're watching a movie where like the facts are there but they're kind of not all there you know that kind of thing but new living translations is is really really good so i suggest you read that if you have a tough time but really take the time and really read your bible especially men um, take time and and it's worth it it's worth it to be a godly man for your family and staying connected so that they can stay connected as well what I love most about this year so far and the end of last year was we really started reading the word together, mm -hmm. you know, and, and we do it separately. Like we each have our own devotionals or I'll listen to a message and he'll do his devotional. But when we do it together, it's just my favorite part. Yeah. And just a quick tip for everybody, um, guys, especially you don't have to when like reading your Bible, I used to think it means like, oh, Abel come prepared with something fire, like pop out and be Stephen Furtick without copying Stephen Furtick. If not, it's a failure. No, nah, it's not what your wife wants. That's not what your, 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 your girl wants. What your family wants and needs is just honestly just read the Bible with them. And if you don't have anything, then just read it. And, and I'm sure God will give you guys something small, if anything. But if not, His Holy Spirit and His presence is there. And He's going to guide you and help you uh, along with it. So don't think that you have to come and be like this td jakes this amazing preacher to your family of four yeah, no. or to your spouse or your fiance and that's the only way they're going to love you and respect that you read the bible with them no just simply reading it and even just conversating we've had just conversations about yeah. the stuff that we read in the bible and it's just it's been good it's been yeah great. like anything i mean sometimes the bible can be daunting can mm -hmm. be scary can can make you feel like i know nothing no matter whether you um graduated from a bible college or not or whatever gifts you may have it's it's more of just we're doing this together yeah. what can god tell us together even if god is silent at least it's together be like yeah. did you hear anything no i didn't get nothing babe all right well you know what it'll come up if anything we did it together yeah. it's it's there is no agenda there is no we have to cry we have to get revelation every single time mm -hmm. uh, we have to write a sermon out of it. it's just I want to be with you with God's word, two of the most things that I love yeah. ever, you know, God and, and the word and you. And I don't know, I, I think there is a blessing in that when I don't understand something you do or vice versa, or um, there's just this connection. Um, so just connect with God and with your spouse. I we have many, many plans, babe, and I'm super excited about the song, and I'm super excited about the other song, and I'm super excited about the video and, you know, everything that's coming up. But, but man, just honestly, knowing that everything that we do, we pray together about yeah. it first, makes me feel safe. I'm so safe now. Mm. I feel like 
the journey is less scary no wow. matter what happens. Um, I'm getting emotional just thinking because it, there are no failures or victories alone anymore. Yeah. And that feels really good because you can be married and feel like, oh, I failed by myself. Yeah. Um, the paycheck didn't come in. I failed by myself. I didn't get the views by myself. I flopped on the sermon by myself. And it doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels like, oh, man, he's with me. He gets it, right? Like, you saw how hard we tried, right? Yeah, we did, baby, and that's okay. Or, And then when the victory comes, they're together. It's like, you know, you you getting millions of views is like tight. Like, at least I prep. I, I gave him a good prep pep talk, you know? Like, um, so it, it's together. It's for all of us. And I think that's the unity that, is not easily broken that people cannot come in to this marriage and tell us like oh you guys are going to fail because of age differences or or someone's going to come one day nope i i don't have that fear we mm -hmm. have too much together for it to be easily broken by some guy or some girl that can try and slide into our dms like or even um any anyone else it, it's it's less scary now yeah to know that I mean, it's, yeah, just to know that we are together in this thing called life. Amen. That's so good, baby. I'm so, 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 so glad to hear that. Um, we love you guys, and we're going to be working together a lot more this year. We suggest that you guys really sit down and talk about it. Pray for new mercy for this new year, mm. you know, and, yeah. and move forward and really Try start doing again. things together. Try again with your spouse. In yeah. fact, let us know in the comments on YouTube or on Instagram and Facebook tell us so that we can be accountable to each other what you're going to try yeah. with your spouse yes. just some i don't know hit the gym together again um i don't know dinner time maybe yeah. dinner time didn't work out um whatever it can be a huge dream like hitting broadway or i don't know uh, something small, like small buying a car again or you know i or don't know buying a car can be big <laughs> uh, however you may see it big or small do something together yeah. again and really Bring God into it because two are strong, but three strands are not easily broken. Mm -hmm. Somewhere in that verse, it also said about when it's cold, it's too late together so they can stay warm. So we're about to go stay warm. <laughs> we'll see you guys next week. I'm warm already. What you <laughs> <doing>? <laughs> I'm good. <laughs>